that is out. And did you know this elm tree is the oldest elm tree in London? This is, they think, the oldest elm tree. And this is the magnolia. Hello, I am in a summer dress. Good morning, everybody. I'm in a summer dress because it just feels like spring has arrived. I'm in my kitchen about to prepare for the day. I've got loads of work to do today. And I just wanted to say before, any, before I go any further, thank you for all of your messages to me over the past week. Thank you. It means a lot. And yes, I'm doing okay, which actually leads me on to this. Before we go any further, this video is sponsored by the wonderful AG1. They have been sponsoring me for over a year, but as you all know, I was a paying customer to AG1 before we started to work together. And I have never missed a day. I have never missed a day since I started uh, drinking AG1. And I'm just telling you this because so many of you say to me, Joe, with all you're dealing with at the, mo uh, at the moment, which is emotionally and work, I'm trying to keep my work going. Um, how do you just keep going? Because I'm commuting up and down from London. Um, I'm doing a late night radio show twice a week and I'm working on my YouTube channel. And it's because, and I honestly believe this, because I just deal with my nutrition, I deal with my um, what the engine that is my body because of this. This is what I think. This is what I believe. Um, because I drink this in the morning before I eat, then I don't think any more about. Well, I I try to eat healthily. I do try to eat healthily, and I don't drink alcohol. But I don't. Do you remember this cupboard used to be full of supplements when I started YouTube? Do you remember I used to lay out all my supplements and say, you know, this is what I take. Well. I don't. This is this is it. This is what gets me through the day. And um, it's what I've been taking, taking, drinking um, for about two years now. And loads of you say, what does it taste like? You're always asking me, what does it taste like? Can I ask all of you who now drink AG1 to write in the comments what it tastes like? Somebody last time said it tastes a bit like pineapple. I don't think it does. Do you know what I think it tastes like? Uh, and this sounds so indulgent. I think it tastes like health. It's like, you know when you smell cut grass, it, f it, it feels like that's the smell I'm, I'm drinking. It just feels healthy with growth. So what is it? It is um, a drink that contains over 70 wonderful vitamins and minerals. And that, basically, I haven't really overanalyzed. I mean, you can Google it and find out for yourself. It, it deals with it, your concentration, it keeps you, it just keeps you going so you don't feel like you need a coffee boost or anything. It gives me energy, you know that. Anyway, this is what's been keeping me going. It will continue to keep me going even when things calm down. And if you haven't started to drink AG1 yourself, if you click on the link in my description box and use the code, you will get a, well, you get the canister with the scoop in. You need one scoop a day into here. You get the bottle um, and you get, that's the pack. The, and you also get five travel packs. These are what I was using to go up and down to my mum's. And I love this, a year's free supply of vitamin D3, K2. So, and that's in oil form, which is really good. So yeah, there you go. I've told you everything about it. Right. Gosh, I love wearing a summer dress. I'm going to head out and start my day, hopefully, in the sunshine. Hello, are you back? You're back in London? Everyone's asked where you've been. Mert? Mert? You were believed to be back. Look at that sunshine. Look at my dirty windows, but the sunshine. And look at Myrtle in the sunshine. Yes, and look at my Bottega. My Bottega means I'm meeting one of the Bottega girls. 
And guess who the Bodega Girl is I'm meeting? Nadine, oh gosh, the sun is gorgeous. Nadine Baggett, I am meeting Nadine in my club, the Ivy Club, always interesting, because um, I'm not allowed to film in there, but I always try, as you know. Um, Nadine and I are meeting, and then we are going to an event in Soho. I am so looking forward to it. It's with Sam Chapman. Many of you who follow beauty vloggers will know Sam Chapman, one of the Chapman girls, and Beauty Pie. So it's a collaboration between the two of them. Stop fiddling with your hair, Joe. Oh my gosh, London looks gorgeous at the moment. Spring in London has to be the best place in the world to enjoy spring. And I am walking through London, through Marylebone, to Covent Garden, to the Ivy Club, and then I will walk with Nadine through Soho to Ketner's, which is where the um, event is taking place. One of those fantastic evenings, late afternoon, early evening, and it's still sunny. It's light, everybody. It's half past five and it's light. And I'm in Soho, nearly getting run over. This is Anna Webb's club, Quo Vadis. Do you remember, that's where she met uh, Johnny Depp. So that's her club. My club is much um, older, really. It is, um, just get around here. It is the Ivy Club, not the Ivy Cafe, not the Ivy Restaurant, but the Ivy Club, and um, it's in Covent Garden, but very close to Soho. You have to realise, everybody in London is a member of a club. Well, I mean, it's advisable to be, because at certain hours, the bars and the um, cafes are so busy, that if you want to sit and talk to someone and um, hold a conversation that's not actually drowned out by hundreds of people, you need to have a club. And also, people, freelancers, like myself, need clubs to meet agents, my agent, um, and to meet brands. And yeah, it's well worth having a club. Um, so yeah, that sounds a bit poncy, but actually, it is. Oh gosh, I love to walk, apart from the rubbish. Lots of rubbish in Soho, but lots of beauty. I'm talking, talking of clubs, that's the Groucho behind me. Another very famous club. Anyway, I could turn this off and run, because I have a feeling Nadine is already there. Hello. You're so lovely. He always remembers me. Thank you so much. New flowers. Springtime. Springtime. Really? And it's light and it's half past five. Suddenly summer is on the way. We are getting there. You are getting there. Thank you. There we go. Love it here. And this is a Tracy Emin. This is the chandelier. This is about as much as I'm allowed to film. This is the very famous lift, the pure glass lift. Beautiful. And it just opens, then you walk in. There you are. And you're in a sort of, you're in um, a glass cube, really. Where am I going? Up to, yeah. Up to one, up to one. Yeah, so it's quite disorientating this lift, especially if you've had a drink. Anyway, so this is where I have to turn it off. That's as far as I'm allowed to film. Unless I film in the toilets, which is really so childish, isn't it? God, I feel better when it's light. Here we go, up. And there's a wonderful scent. I think it's probably the Ivy signature scent. I'm not sure, but anyway, I'm going to turn this off if I'm told off. We're here now. Here's Nadine. We've just been in the bar. She's phoning. No, this morning. She's on this morning tomorrow. tomorrow. Do you know what you're talking about? Yes, I'm talking about beauty fakes because there's oh. a, a land 
um, a groundbreaking landslide report coming out about dupes and beauty fakes. And um, yes. Wow. I'm saying, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about, but I need to read my brief yes. and well, speak to my producer. That's what she's doing now because we're not allowed to use phones upstairs. So I will turn this off and then we're going to Ketner's. Actually, look at that. Look at that wonderful chandelier. Amazing. So we're going to walk there because it's quite a nice evening. I'm going to film this. <laughs> Sorry, I spare nothing. Hi, girls. Hi. Welcome to This is John. Hello. Hi. 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 Am yes, I right, the yeah, of yeah, right. Oh my god, this is going to be like... Come through here, yeah. through the window. There's Marcia and Sam, There's Marcia, look. everybody. I've been wanting to get to Marcia for so long. Have you never met her? And it's through Nadine. Everything happens through Nadine. I'm going to love her. I just think she's amazing. You're absolutely going to love her. Wow. <laughs> I won't be able to talk for very long because of the music and I have to pay copyright. I've sneaked out. We're in Ketner's in Soho and they're all there, all the beauty influencers and vloggers. Nadine is so good to me because she literally introduces me to people. I know some of the people up there, not all of them. And she's so generous. She just shoves me forward. Um, anyway, look at these. I like this copper sink. And what have we got here? Cow shed. Ah, thought we might. How amazing these two! I love them. Love them. Love them. That. Oh my gosh, that was wonderful. I really needed that. Um, it was just a lovely. Lovely night out with wonderful people. Sometimes events can be a bit overwhelming and a bit sort of rent a crowd, but that wasn't. That was full of people who I have followed on the internet for so long and just met in a lovely, beautiful venue with Marcia at the helm, who knows everyone. When I turned up, she went, Joe, and I thought, oh my gosh, she's done. She's really done her homework. Anyway, what I am going to do now, going down Dean Street, is I'm going to get the bus home. So glamorous. I would walk, but you know what? Um, I was up early this morning. I went swimming at six o'clock this morning. Are we going past the Groucho? Love to know who's in there. <gasps> People making deals. Um, Yes, yeah, so I was up at six o'clock, so I am exhausted. Also, now that I've got Myrtle back with me in London, I can't leave her um, for too long. She's been, what, well, three hours? She can do three hours, but she'll be waiting for me to take her out. So yeah, I'm gonna get the bus back. And, um, Really, oh, this is Maird Street. I don't know if you're familiar with Soho. I love this little street. It's a lovely little street off Dean Street. So, um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now from Soho. Well, everybody, I am not getting the bus. I've cheated and I'm getting in a cab only because I just feel like I deserve it. And as I said to this fantastic cab driver, I'm wearing very high heels and I just couldn't walk anymore and one of the greatest luxuries in life is a black cab so um, it's a luxury it's a treat and um,
cab drivers are always interesting. I've never got in a London cab with a boring cab driver. They all have the best stories. Plus, as you know from Dave the cabbie, they see everything. Do you work nights and days? Yeah, I, get it. I sort of work half the day and half the night. Ah, which do you prefer, day or night? Um, I prefer being on the golf course. <laughs> so tell me this then. One of the cab driver that picks me up from where I work most nights, yeah. he spends six weeks in London and then six weeks in LA. Oh my. I know. So you all have quite a nice lifestyle. Well, you know what? That, I've heard a lot of cab drivers who maybe live up country or in Spain or France. I've yeah. never heard anybody who does it across the Atlantic. Yep, across LA. And then when he gets to LA, he never goes out. He just stays in a flat with the curtains drawn and watches The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. He sounds like a very sad person. <laughs> oh, Dave the cabbie, if you're watching this, you'll be really cross. <laughs> oh my gosh, so tell me this, do you think London is, they say it's there's no tourists here at the moment, would you agree? No, no, there are still tourists around. Oh, there are? Yeah. It seems quiet though. It's quieter, but it, there are still around. Still a lot of people from the Middle East around. Oh, really? Oh, well, that's good. That's where the money is. Apparently so. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're going down Oxford Street, everybody, and it's, I don't know what time it is, but look how busy it is in Oxford Street. It's probably about eight o'clock, something like that. Um, is it eight o'clock? Three minutes past. Three, oh, three minutes past. Right, I'm going to turn this off now and just enjoy this cab drive. <laughs> look who's here, everybody. Joss Van Tyler has come to visit. Myrtle's going crazy. Come, she won't know what to do, whether to go to you or me. <laughs> come, Myrtle, come, come. <laughs> See, she can't decide who to go to. <laughs> oh. Hello, Joss. How are you? Have you been to Zandra Rhodes? I have. Oh, yes, yeah, she does that through excitement. Hold this, Joss, because I'd better clear that up before anyone she wheezes with excitement. Wheeze. I Hold sometimes wee with excitement. <laughs> no, stop it. Hold on. Myrtle. Myrtle, it's all right. It's all right, Myrtle. Oh, Myrtle. 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 Look, this is all It's all very nice. Um, do you... Is that called urine off? <laughs> no. No, it's because not. Called, excuse a, me, could you put this... It's not called urine off. It's, it Have goes, you come back to do another one? <laughs> okay, no. See oh, look, it goes gone. straight away. It yeah. goes straight away. Don't let Sandra see this. Not that Sandra doesn't... Matter. Myrtle. Myrtle. I'll take this, Joss. You look wonderful. Oh, I don't really. You I've do. Got, I went to a fitting for the um, Brits tomorrow. Oh, the Brits. Yeah, Brits. The Brits. Saturday. Oh, here's Sandra. Run, run quick. quick. Sandra, you whittled. <laughs> don't want Sandra to see what you've done. <laughs> Sandra would not mind. Joss is here. And is it tonight you're going out or Saturday? Saturday night. It's the Brits. For the Brits. And where's the Brit party? Are you allowed to say? You're not probably, are you? You're it's probably... a hotel. Don't say. And then the carpet. And then it's, um... The whole thing's a VO2, isn't it? I don't think you're mad. me just turning no, up but the I'm not, I'm I'm not. Who are you going with? Dame Zander Rose. She's go he's going with Zander Rose, who is actually giving him an outfit, I think. Am I right? Yeah. So you look amazing. You might be in the column of shame in the Daily Mail. I think I have some wee on me from uh, the No. This isn't me. I don't mind that. Oh, oh, my, I don't know who to believe. Has he or hasn't he? What is the column of shame? The column of shame is that column on the mail at the right hand side where you read what all the celebrities like yourself are getting up to. It's called the column of shame because I'm drawn to it every morning. Look, Myrtle is so overexcited. She's only just been for a walk. She shouldn't have done that. It's just the excitement. Coffee? Oh, I'd love Cappuccino? You're a clairvoyant. Cappuccino? Would you like a cappuccino? Would, Would you, you like a cappuccino? <laughs> We've had a lovely cup of coffee and Myrtle, your Jossie is going. Oh, you don't know where to go now, do Myrtle, you? Myrtle, I'm leaving. Can I have a little kisses? All right, Joss. <laughs> Can I have a little kisses? <coughs> Restrive the laptop. So good Are luck you at guarding the, the content. She is guarding the laptop content. Good luck at the Brits, Joss. Thank you very much. I shall um, send you a photo. Please, and I'll put it up on my Instagram. I will send you one. I shall twinkle. Have you ever been? 
Yeah, I've been to the Brit after party when it was in the Bank of um, London, Bank of England in London, in their in their vault. I went with Island Records, but never to the ceremony, to the after party. And it was, um, it was. I went with Anna Webb actually, and oh my lovely god, lovely Anna Webb, lovely Anna Webb. We had such a great time, it was such a great time. Good luck. Please send me a pic, and I can put it on here. If you send me it on Saturday night, I can put this up on time for in time for Sunday. Nice to see you, everyone. Okay, everybody, you owe me. This is the very famous Koi Bird. And they are having their sample sale in store. Usually, you have to seek them out and they're in a secret location in Mayfair. So they're having it in store and it is from the 1st of March, which is today, up to 85% off. So Koi Bird is in Marylebone Lane and let's just see what they have. So here they all are. This is so rare that they actually have it in the store. Usually they have it in hotels and places in Mayfair. But this is it and I'm here nice and early. There's fantastic bargains to be had in jewellery. So as you know, a lot of what I wear that is very, very individual and unique comes from Koi Bird. My flared trousers, so much stuff, just look. Look. Wow. Oh wow. I might have to buy that. I might actually have to buy this. I love it. Hi! This is the lovely girl that told me. You, you noticed her. She's been on the vlog before. Can you just hold this up so I can show everyone? So this, I'm doing, for lots of events, it would be really useful, but it may be the wrong size. Is it really large, that one? Yes, size 42. You're quite oh my cute. God. And you don't have a smaller one. What you see, you want is what we get. Oh my gosh, look at that. I wonder if I could have it taken in, actually. You can try it on. Yeah, I'll try it on. I might get this with heels. Bought the dress and I bought the Alice band. Look how cool these are. And for someone like me, it really adds height. I have it, I have that dress. Why? I mean, what am I, is it depression? I'm not depressed. I'm grieving, I cannot blame dear Mutti for this. Mutti would say, how often are you gonna wear it? I think I wear it quite a lot. I'm gonna wear it because I'm hosting a panel for International Women's Day, so I shall wear it for that. And, um, yeah. Oh my golly. I love Koi Bird though, and everything I buy from Koi Bird, I do wear a lot, so price per wear, mind you, I mean, that sort of dress, you are restricted, really. Can't wear it to work, can I? Anyway, he's chucking it down. I haven't brought my brolly. And I, now I'm going to an event in Soho, which I'm not gonna show you this week. And by the way, the Koi Bird sale is now online. So if you go online, you will find their sale online. It's just pouring with rain and I am changing my shoes in another doorway. I'm always changing shoes in doorways. I'm telling you, anyone wants to make an investment, open all around the West End little shoe changing huts so that we can change our shoes without crouching in doorways. Oh, I'm late for this event. I'm absolutely saturated. And I've spent more money than I could <laughs> And it hasn't stopped raining. Honestly, I spent the whole of last week binging all of your videos. I've, I watch them regularly, but I just love, I went back and watched like a year, videos from like a year ago. 
I just really enjoy them. Then just like a, I don't know, I, I love them. I just think your recommendations are excellent. Just they're just so lovely to watch. So Thank you. Like a little hug. Thank, and what's your name? Sabrina. Sabrina. This is going to go up on Sunday. And look I'll how watch it for sure. look how beautiful Sabrina looks. Oh no, I, I look, look like awful. it's raining. It's I was like, awful. I look like an egg. Some people no. on their TikTok. And I was like, I'm really sorry, I can't be on your TikTok today. And then you are. So I was like, okay. Yeah, but you'll do YouTube. You see, YouTube is far more discerning. YouTube is just my my favorite place on totally. the internet. Totally. Totally. I just love it. I'm glad yeah. you said that because it takes time. TikTok is like a snack. Yeah. YouTube is like a meal. Yeah. Yeah, I could just watch, an, like, if I love the creator, I would just watch it. Yeah. I've just let, watch their whole life end, yeah. to be honest. I just love it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you no, no, so thank much. You wow. Amazing. Wow, everybody. Seriously, she came up to me. Oh, look, Sabrina, the sun's out. Yeah, finally. The sun is out, finally. Look who's here. Hi, Bill. <laughs> I've got a bone to pick with you. Why? Well, I said, you sent me a text this afternoon saying, are you back? I said, yes, see you tonight with a kiss. You never replied. I thought, oh, no, I no, the her. reason, no, I tell you why. Reply. Oh, yes, can't wait, exclamation mark. You just blanked me out. I would blank you out. I would never blank you out. I'd never blank you out. Sheer Listen, I've got, I, the reason why is that I was working this afternoon. Oh, yeah. I'm doing International Women's Day. Oh. So I've been filming loads and loads of clips. So I probably meant to answer, but I didn't. See you tonight, kiss, kiss. And you're supposed to say, can't wait. Can't Escalation wait. Marks, kiss, kiss. No, but when and I got nothing. I thought, oh, she's. No, no, but in LA. She's found some other fancy man. Oh, God, don't. If you watch the vlog. If you watch this vlog, you're going to get really upset oh. because I was talking I about. I watch it when I'm in it. Well, you well you will be in it, but I was talking about you to another cab driver because oh. I don't usually get cabs, no. but I was wearing ridiculous shoes, oh. and um, I told him about your your travelling back and forth to LA. Oh yeah. Anyway, you have to watch the whole vlog. Yeah, I can't wait to hear. What, <laughs> I can't wait to hear that discussion. You uh, don't look. Was he did go to LA? No, he did. Did he go south of the Rio Grande? No, he did. He did say something like that. Oh, he he said that he he. I bet, he, I he, bet that set set a consternation in Villa Ricky. Such a bitch! You're such a bitch! How do you know he's an Essex man? Oh, I don't know. Now well. let's see the tan. No, I'm milk white. <laughs> you are milk no, white. You don't, you don't get you a tan. You haven't been out. You don't get a tan sitting indoors watching men. Um, <laughs> What's it called? Below Deck Mediterranean. Below Deck. Have you watched Below Deck? I only went out three times after I was there. I started to watch a new series and I kept thinking, you must be watching this, which is Selling Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With, I, what's his name from Ma the Real Housewives yeah, Maurizio, husband? Maurizio. Maurizio. Oh, yeah. Can you believe we're talking about this? I'm going to turn this off now. I can't believe Maurizio and Carl got divorced. He really does follow it. They haven't. They've got, they're, they're still together. Oh. I think they're still compatible. Yeah. I don't think it's a nasty divorce. Divorce, <laughs> Right, I'm going to get in the cab. Um, can I just say to everybody, don't forget the, your AG1. If you have never tried AG1 and you want my energy, um, then... Um, you like me, don't forget your ageing one. No, you're not ageing. <laughs> you're pallid looking now. I can't I believe... Pallid. Yeah, pallid. I am pallid. Pallid. I'm browner than you and I've just been raining yeah. it. Then time I went out to film a, film a video for you when I went to the beach. We liked that, didn't we, everybody? <laughs> um, can I just say, if you, if, if you want to start AG1, then click on the link below because um, there is a discount. If, um, please give us a thumbs up because it helps fight the algorithm. So please give us a thumbs up. Thanks, Dave. Please subscribe and um, we will see you next week. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye. Bye. Bye.